As part of our relationship with the NFL and the NBA, we educate first-year players on how to deal with us, with the media. It's kind of like our own rookie camp. All right, you guys have money, but you don't have attitude. You're too nice. It's pathetic. You're the man. Say it. You're the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. Come I'm on, the man. gotta be like, I'm the man. I'm the man. Always refer to yourself in the third person. Keyshawn did. Kobe did. Just cuss, man. Just cuss like a sailor. That's in now. They can bleep it out later. You gotta say that's a b call. We're making a difference, and you can see it every day. So, Dad, that's a real legendary. That's what commercial. I had, a skinny face. Yeah, there's legendary people in the commercial. What was it like being around Kobe and Stuart Scott? Well, I mean, if you go back and you think about it, Kobe and I both came into our respective leagues at the same time. Same year, we both signed with Adidas Shoe Companies the same time. Same year, uh, Sonny Vaccaro both, uh, brought us both to Adidas. Um, I mean, he was... Kobe was 18, 19 at the time. I mean, he was young. He just was a young, a young, young dude. It's, I mean, that's all he was. It's just young Kobe. Yeah. Um, and he was an NBA guy. I didn't know no better. I was a college kid that graduated and went to USC. He was the number one pick. And he was just a kid. I mean, you know, actually, Kobe was the person who taught me how to sign my autograph um, because we were flying together on a private jet to Portland, Oregon, to do something for Adidas, some sort of event. And we had memorabilia we needed to sign before we landed. And I don't know, it might have been 30 different items, basketball, football, maybe it was like some jerseys or something. And um, and I was signing them. But he had started when I started, but he had finished way before me because I was putting my entire name <laughs> in the number... And he just was writing Kobe 8. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him, I said to him, I said, Kobe, man, what, how the hell you finish so fast? He was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, man, I'm just, he was like, let me see. And he leaned over. He's like, well, that's the problem right there. I had my whole name. And he was like, man, you got to just shorten it to Keyshawn because there ain't another Keyshawn on this earth. And well, now and there so, are, but back then. Yeah, but back then, it's, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's not. But then at that time, I just, I shortened it to Keyshawn in my number. Mm -hmm. That's Before, cool. it was yeah, no, my whole had, name. Yeah, we used to live with him. He was like across the street from us at Pelican Hill, and he just had that aura. Every time I saw him, I was like, I'm not usually scared to say anything to like any <laughs> athletes because like I was born deep, but like Kobe was different. But what about Stuart Scott? Stuart Scott, when I got to ESPN, well, I, obviously I knew Stu before I joined ESPN, but when I joined ESPN, one of the things that, that has, has stuck with me in in through this whole entire 18 years of doing media is he said, don't allow them to change you and who you are as a person and a personality. Don't all of a sudden be up here, you know, well, I think tonight we're going to look at, you know, don't be that. Be exactly who I am. Don't change for nothing, for nobody. Speak the way I speak. Rock the way I rock. That was kind of his message to me from day one. And I used to work with him every Super Bowl Sunday. We did the wrap-up, the post-game Sports Center Super Bowl Sunday. So it would be me... Steve Levy, Stuart Scott, Trent Dilfer. Um, who else would join us at the time? I think it was just, it was us three. Maybe Chris Carter joined in. But it was I, it was mainly me, Trent, Levy, and Stu Scott. The entire time that I was on Countdown for them 10 years, we did the, uh, the wrap-up show for the Super Bowl Sunday. So I got a chance to obviously know him, know him very well. Um, was a, was a, a, you know, one of those heavy losses when he passed away yep. of cancer. And, and um, you know, he was good to me. He was always just good to me. He taught me a lot. Okay. Well, this is the part where I uh, show you some social media stuff since you're never really on it. So Not on it at all. Social media blows. <laughs> so Phoenix Sun superstar guard Devin Booker was found trending as the possible mystery man at the barbershop this week. The mystery man was found getting his bald spot covered with a man wig. So now, Dad, I noticed your hair has grown in rather quickly. Would you like to admit anything to our listeners? You got any? Well, any where would my hair grow in at? Only thing I do is I, only thing I do is dye the grays out my hair because I got great patching and I get great lining around here. But as far as doing something to my hair, no, nah, not a chance. Ain't no need to. I feel you. Now, I'm not. I'm not on IG. I don't need to go get Brazilian butt lifts and <laughs> fake. Lips and all that. No, uh -uh. I'm, I'm, I'm sexy just like I am, son. <laughs> You're hilarious. So Anthony Edwards recently dropped 51 points in front of 50 Cent. 
Dad, was there ever anyone in attendance that made you want to, you know, maybe put on a show, go crazy? Nah, you know, when I played, I didn't pay attention to uh, people at the games, on the sidelines. And I just... Yeah, you were locked in. I was just playing sports. It's a little different in the NBA than it is in college. I mean, in, in, in pro uh, sports or even in college because you're on the sideline. Most people to, in the NFL especially don't get to stand on the sidelines. Mm-hmm. Professional athletes are the only ones on the sidelines along with their coaches. The NFL doesn't allow. If you ever notice, you never see celebrities during the game standing on the sideline. What about only at, in college? Yeah, in I was the pros. Say. What about at USC? Do you ever have anyone there? No, it was like, a bunch of celebrities standing on the sideline at our games, but I wasn't worried about what they talking about. Shit, they got their money. I'm trying to get mine. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us. Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.